Mm -hmm. Hi, Mom. Home from school. Hi, honey. How was your day? Fine. Um, I'm just going to go to my room and study for finals. Chris, honey, you've been studying for days. Wow, this is the switch. Are you telling me not to study? I'm your mother. I'm not supposed to do that. But why don't you give yourself a break, honey? I can't. I don't want to have to be in middle school while my friends are going to high school. Honey, if you fail your final, I really doubt that you'll have to repeat 8th grade. Well, I do, that's what the teacher said. My grades are already not very good. Well, I'm proud of you for working hard. That's all that matters, even if you were 75 in an 8th grade. Please don't say that. Please don't say that, that's, I gotta study. Okay, honey, but if you wanna take a break from studying, it's okay. I can't afford to take a break. <sighs> I'm really worried about her. Okay, now I gotta study science. Come in. Hey, Krista. Kaylee, what are you doing here? Well, that's a nice greeting. I'm sorry, I'm just studying, so I'm not gonna be much fun to be around. You've been studying for days and you've hardly been sleeping. I'm worried about you. Well, maybe I wouldn't have to study so much if that teacher didn't make that threat to keep me in eighth grade if I didn't pass these tests. I think she was just trying to get you to study. You've never been a pro at studying. Yeah, well, that's going to change. I'm studying all day and all night. But it's Friday. It's the weekend. you got to go out and have some fun. I've been having fun all year. Now it's time for me to get serious. You're crazy. Hey, Krista. The door is open, so I didn't knock. Hi, Christy. Christy. Tell Krista that she needs to have some fun. She told, she told me she's been studying all day and all night. She's going to forget what she learned. Don't say that. Well, it's true. If you don't get rest or take a break or something. I can't, okay? I gotta study. I don't want to be in 8th grade while you guys are in 9th grade at the high school. Do you have any idea what a freak I would be? You're not going to be in 8th grade forever, you know. Even if you do get held back, we'll still come visit you. Thanks. That's very comforting. Chris was serious. You are studying way too hard. Your mom even thinks so. And she's the one that's been stressing about your test in the beginning. Well, she doesn't have to stress out anymore because I'm studying. Well, look, if you're just going to study and we're not going to go on YouTube or anything, how can you think of YouTube when finals are tomorrow? Well, we studied enough. You can never study too much. Well, maybe you can't, but we can. Come on, Chrissy. Let's get out of here. Good luck studying. Thanks, Christy. Okay, back to science. <sighs> Can a girl study in peace? It's me, honey. Krissa. Honey, you look you look exhausted. No, I'm okay. Krista, I'm really worried about you. Mom, you want me to get into high school next year, don't you? Of course I do. But I think you're overdoing it, honey. I think you're overstudying. You're overexerting yourself. You need to get some rest. I can't. I have to study. I'm like that little rabbit on TV. You know, I keep going and going and going and going and go No, you're going to bed. No, Mom, I can't. I gotta study. No, you are not going to study in, anymore until you get some rest. But mom, no buts. Get some rest. 
I'll mean to check on you in a minute. But mom, I'm fine. No, you gotta rest. Okay? You are not gonna study until you get some rest. You're overdoing it. I guess a nap won't hurt. I need to study. How long have I been asleep for? What day is it? Where's my phone? It's Saturday, September 24th, 2020. I was asleep all this time. I knew I should have taken a nap. I knew I should have continued studying. Oh my gosh. What am I going to do about school? I better go ask my mom. Mom! What's going on? I've been asleep for two years? Why didn't you wake me? I knew I shouldn't have taken a nap. I knew I should have studied. Well, it's not my fault you slept for two years. You're a very heavy sleeper. I've been trying to wake you up. But if I was asleep for two years, that means I obviously missed finals back two years ago. Yep. And why aren't you getting ready for school? School? It's Saturday. Well, for you, it's not the weekend. You did so badly in eighth grade that you have to go to school on Saturdays and Sundays, too. What? You, it, this is your fault. You're the one that made me take a vest. Yes, exactly. I made you take a rest, not to sleep for two years. What about my friends? They're sophomores in high school, and they called and said they, didn't, they gave up on you. But they're my best friends. Do you give up on me? I'm sorry, but I'm really disappointed in you. I tried waking you up for two years, but you, you just wouldn't wake up. Oh, my gosh. Now go get your stuff for school. Oh my god, this is crazy. This is my, like my worst nightmare. Just go get ready for school. Oh my god. No. No, this can't be happening. No. Krissa? Krissa. No. Krissa, come on, get up. Mom? What time is it? It's nine o'clock at night, honey. I think I rested enough. I gotta study. Are you all right? No, not really. I just had the worst dream. I dreamt that I was sleeping for two years and I missed finals and I had to go to school on Saturday and everything was crazy. It was just a dream, honey. Yeah, I know, but it was really scary. really scary. It's okay, honey. Can I study some more? Please? I gotta pass this t these tests, Mom. I know, honey, but you're putting too much pressure on yourself. I'm not putting too much pressure on myself. Yale's putting too much pressure on me. Harvard's putting too much pressure on me. Chris, uh, I think you're a little young to be thinking about college. No, I'm not. If I'm going to pass these tests, I'm going to be in high school in September. Who knows how fast the years fly by. Believe me, don't remind me. Don't remind me that the, the years are flying by. You're growing up too fast. But honey, even if you don't do on the test, you know I'll be proud of you, don't you? Yes, but that's not the point. The point is, I wouldn't be proud of me. And why not? You are an incredible person. You may not do too well in school, honey, but you've always tried your best, and that's all I could ask for. Really? Really. You, you could study for another 30 minutes, but then I want you to really go to sleep and have a peaceful sleep. And no matter what happens when you take your test tomorrow, I'm behind you. Thanks, Mom.
Okay. I am science is my worst subject, so I'll study them. You know what? Mom's right. I've been studying too hard. I think I'm gonna get ready for bed. Oh.